Hey everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for joining me on my latest Roblox Studio beginner tutorial that will show you how you can add a script in your Roblox game. The process is incredibly simple and has two kind of different setups which do slightly different things, but let me show you both in a really straightforward process where I'm going to make a part by clicking on the part in your home tab and I want to add a script to this part that multiplies it, basically makes another one when I click it and then does the same however many times I do it. Now when I have this part, the only thing I have to do to add a script is select it, click on this plus button and you will already have the script enabled or present most likely in the drop down menu. But if you search for it, you have two basic options that most use, which is script and local script. The difference is that the script is running through the Roblox servers once you read, write it and affects all of the players that are engaging with the same script, while local script is basically running on your client, on your PC or whatever device you're using to make your Roblox game. So we're going to use a script and once we add it, it's going to immediately pop up into a new window. From here, you can write anything you like. You already have a print option, which is hello world. It's going to print out as soon as you start the game, but I'm going to add this script to the game. And as you can see, it's a pretty simple script that is able to clone a part once it recognizes your click. That's the click detector, creates a new part and positions it using the vector option to the side of the old part. So you can see 500, zero, zero, it's basically moving it to the side. And that is everything that you need to have to do this. Let me show it in the game. I'm in the game, I'm coming closer. The click detector is working, so the cursor is changing. Once I click on it, there's a new element. Once I click on it, another element appears, another arm, and so forth. I can multiply and create new parts by basically clicking on them and creating additional ones. Pretty simple, pretty easy to understand, pretty straightforward, but that is the basic option. Whatever you're adding to your game, you can simply click on the plus and add the script you'd like to have, then edit it and basically do whatever you want to do with it and the same will be present in the script itself so easy straightforward and very effective hopefully you understood it completely hopefully everything about it is clear so thanks a lot for being on this tutorial hopefully it helped you out if it did please check out how you can support me you can check out my patreon page you can check out my channel memberships you can check out my books on amazon but of course the cheapest easiest fastest way to support me just subscribe and be here for my new tutorials that's all for me my name is Ivica. thanks a lot for being here have a great day have loads of fun in your roblox studio adventures and i'll see you on my next tutorial until then goodbye